She should call me back soon. So we will finally find out what our day fives look like. So I feel like I'm just sitting here waiting. Kinsley, what are you wearing? My daddy. Is that Darian Faye? What is that? He's so cute. So we've recently daddy. had to. Oh, you want to? You want get out? And help you? Yeah. So we uh, have been giving Kinsley bibs in the morning because we give her shakes, and the shakes end up destroying the clothes, and then we have to spot clean like all day long. So, well, let's be honest. I don't spot clean. Pam and Alex do. Really blessed about that. I don't like laundry. Anyway, so uh, Kinsley had that Daring Faith bib on and it's super significant to us because our church was going through a series called Daring Faith in 2015 um, at the beginning of the year and we were just talking about what types of things in our life do we need to have more faith for and that was for a family. And during that campaign is when we met Birth Mom and we adopted Kinsley in nine days and it's just so fun. And so now when Kinsley gets to wear that bib, it's so extra special. Good morning, you guys. I just called our fertility specialist's office because I haven't heard from them on the embryo report yet. She should call me back soon. So we will finally find out what our day fives look like. So. I feel like I'm just sitting here waiting. Okay, I'm gonna try to go keep myself busy. <laughs> so, um, I just wanna let you know, so far you have two frozen, but with still you have six more potential. What, is, what, is, ooh, what does that mean? It, it just means you're probably gonna have somewhere between, uh, if I had to guess you're gonna have four to six. Okay. So, but they only froze two today, but there's, as they said, there's four more potentials. So that would be up to six if you get all four of them. What's the reason they carry them today six versus choosing today? Because they like them to be more declared so that we know that they're going to work. So the ones that were frozen today were, you know, expanded, they had cavitated, and they had fluid called the blastocele, a clear inner cell mass. So there was an early blast and there were some morulas and some post morulas. And you really would like those to go on a little bit more okay. before you freeze them. Okay. We'll know everything by tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so I'm torn with all of this news being a really good thing or a little bit sad. Um, obviously, if we ended up with like eight or nine that carried all the way, like that would be very overwhelming and, and a lot of pressure for us down the line in the future. So that it is a good thing that like the really strong ones are making it. So they froze two and then they're watching for more. She says it's very normal for them to freeze on day five or day six. So that's what's happening. So at least we know we have two. That's, that's the good thing. We know for sure we have two that are frozen and can be used later. Three were lost over the last two days. And that was expected, and we knew that was gonna be that was gonna happen. Um, but it's definitely very an interesting feeling. I don't know. I wanted ones that that wouldn't actually turn to a full term pregnancy to naturally stop growing, and then those, you know, don't become blastocysts. They just don't ever make it to that that big. Um, size and I'm not sad. I don't want this to come across that. I'm sad. I'm very thankful with our results But it's just a very this is our very first time through this. So it's just a very interesting Experience to feel like okay. We had nine on Tuesday and now we have six two for sure and four maybe so I guess I'm just really more now anxious for the next 24 hours to hear how the maybes did. Let's go ahead and call Philip and let him know what's going on. They said that they froze two today and then there's four more that they're gonna watch one more day before they decide if they've made it to freezing or not. Okay. So six at most so 
Dr. Hatch is guessing between maybe four to six. She didn't actually give me letters or anything, but yeah. Great. Great. I don't know why I feel like a little bit sad, but I, I'm not yeah. sad because I don't, I didn't want like to be overwhelmed with too many. I think it's just the idea of, oh my gosh, like three didn't make it from two days ago. But, totally. The fact that there's any is awesome. Yeah. Why wouldn't they freeze them all now? Because f the four that they're still watching, like they're they're still not a full blastocyst. Like they're not fully developed yet. Let's pray for those six then. Yeah. Awesome. That is so cool, Alex. All right, love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. I'm pretty an easygoing, laid back person, and but this I can definitely see the emotion behind every day waiting to hear the results. So that's kind of what I'm feeling right now, just a little bit like, how are they gonna do? What What's going on with them? And like, I must like wanna be there and like talk to the embryologist like directly and like hear like, okay, what do you think? Like, tell me like why this, what, what level of that? And I'm gonna keep myself busy for the next 24 hours until we find the absolute final results of how many do end up getting to the frozen stage so we are thankful we are blessed we are thankful for the two that are frozen and we will definitely um be excited for when we can use those hey guys so um i just got here to a meeting um kinsley is at home with grammy and philip's already here but i just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit the last few days i've been you know raving on how good i've been feeling and i've just been so lucky and all that stuff and I'm and I still do feel really good overall in comparison to a lot of people that have symptoms but I am feeling really crummy today and I don't really have another explanation for it um, I've had a little bit of cramp more cramps yesterday and then um, definitely a lot more today but nothing that's like miserable or like making me not function just like more like oh okay that's uncomfortable a little bit but I can keep going but I've just been feeling really crummy. I'm wondering if it's partly just like hormonal. Like I was on these huge doses of medication and I just, you know, you just stop them cold turkey. So I don't know if that's why I'm feeling crummy, but anyways, I just want to talk to you guys. I just like, even though our journey has been pretty awesome so far, um, there's definitely still hills and valleys to it. I'm hoping that maybe Philip and I can go and he can take me out for frozen yogurt after our meeting because, you know, I just need a little pick-me-up and, and that's okay. So that was just a quick update for today. We finished off the night watching women's gymnastics, which is my all-time favorite Olympic sport of all time. So thank you guys so much again for watching and tomorrow will be the big update to see actually how many embryos we have. Um, so that'll be exciting. Sorry, that's one more day of waiting, but it's one more day of waiting for us too. So you guys have to wait. So that was day five and tomorrow is day six. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.